intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, Star Trek fans, welcome back to another video. And this one, I'm going to hype up somebody that most of you would never expect me to hype up, and that's Neelix. And simple reason being is he really improves the overall game of the Voyager. In fact, for anybody that's able to get him in the future that's a free-to-play who's new to the Voyager, as in the people who didn't get the Voyager immediately, he's going to help alleviate some of the problems that you can feel immediately that you won't feel now, like a problem that we've had. And we'll talk about all that and more here in today's video, going over his abilities. Now, of course, we're going to pull both officer and captain's abilities. He doesn't have a captain's ability. They just have an officer's ability. See, unfit to leave. Procurement consultant is the biggest one that I'm really excited about as a player individually, but he has a officer ability and a below deck ability that both have uses. But this one is for me, I have a tier two one, increasing cost efficiency of your ship's active abilities when assigned to the Voyager. So that is the summoning ability that the Voyager can do. And real quick to answer the question that some of y'all are probably going to end up asking, so to avoid of being in the comments, I have a tier two Neelix. How is that possible? Scopely was kind enough to give me this officer so I can make this video and explain how he actually works. Now, real quick, this month's meta. So if you're watching this video about Neelix, the month he came out, there is no free to play path. The only way to get Neelix guaranteed is to purchase the battle pass and complete the events. Or of course, you could just buy him in a pack. I'm not saying that you should do that. I'm simply letting y'all know that this was a Scopely gift. And I am now explaining how he works to you. That way, if you do want to make an informed purchase, you can. Or if you want to wait, you can also do that simply based on knowing how the character works. So let's cover his officer ability and below deck ability. Let's go in a little bit more detail as we like to do. So right here, we're going to have the full numbers. You see the officer's ability starts at 40%. Max is out at 130. Some of y'all are going to go, well, how does that make any sense? It doesn't. It does make sense, actually. The reason it makes sense is remembering how efficiency works. You're actually going to take base and you're going to then have that 130 added to it. So then you'll be doing a multiplication of 2.3. Remember how we did it with Pike's math and everything like that. Efficiency math is, well, once you understand how it works, it's not that complicated. But I'm sure most people aren't used to using that type of run in their everyday life. So it will end up giving a pretty good reduction. And I'll show you what that reduction is here in a minute. Finally, the below deck ability, now we're cooking. Now I wanna reiterate what came out in the notes for this month, but for those that don't know, this does not work with Tau. So it is below deck burning, meaning this could be very valuable for a Tribune or an Augur, and I'll see a couple different boats in the game, but does not work, just keeping it real, with Tau. So if you are hoping to have Tau at the top of your boat and not have that officer slot for burning so that you can use it for something else, sadly, not going to work that way. But let's get back into why this is really good or why I feel that it's extremely good. I'm gonna give you a quick showcase right now. I'm actually gonna take my Voyager. We're going to ski daddle out of dock. And for those who are like, well, what does that actual percentage translate to? Here's my summoning cost. Y'all know the default cost is 500. Well, for me, it is now 323. Why does this matter? Why is it important? Well, real simple. If I wanted to summon something, I could do three a day. We know that if we do our chest pull and we are doing our triple Herogen pulls, which here's our numbers right here, our triple Herogen pulls, we're going to get 500 deuterium for each chest. So if we do a triple chest, we're getting 1500. Simple math, 500 and going into 1500 three times. That means we could do three summons a day to get our biotoxins, or if we wanted to go into the Borg systems and maybe try to get commerce insignia slash messages, but you could do three a day. But what does Neelix do when you have this? And why is it valuable? Before we take this off the screen, I wanna explain why it's valuable. And if you're new to the Voyager, you're gonna find that after the improvements they made with the month that came out, tiers one through four and even one through five really aren't terribly hard to complete. Assuming you're going it with your tier, you're doing the research alongside of it. And that means that most players in those ranges are gonna be able to triple pull their boxes. They're definitely gonna be able to triple pull their Herogen Relics. And they're probably gonna be able to triple pull their 8472 loot exchanges. And then the mining is gonna really kind of matter more about how many rare nodes you can find on how many of those pulls you can do. We're not gonna talk about rare nodes in this video, but we will talk about cost efficiency. Now, if you look at tier five, Going to tier six, look how big of a jump it is 
where you go from 9,400 for a single 847 chest pull to 19,100. It more than doubles in cost going from tier five to tier six. And that's one of the biggest pain points you notice early on. So why does that end up mattering? Well, let's take a look at a little bit of Neelix officer ability math. So what that ends up translating to is right over there. If you got a tier one Neelix, your cost goes from 500 down to 37. If you have a tier two Neelix, it goes down to 323. If you have a max Neelix, it goes down to 217 per. Now, again, you might be asking, why does this matter? Why is it important? Good. I have another chart for you to take a look at. And those who are going to ask, yes, I say this a lot, but I will be specific. If you want to find out where this is, these are located in my Star Trek Fleet Command general channels and specific ship channels in my Discord. You can also share this on to Facebook if y'all so request if y'all would like it on there can share them there these are tools put together by jules and blue who monitor and manage the spreadsheets and then people like me and my volunteers team who put in input a lot of information to help them out so really appreciate them doing this. this is an actual active calculator you can actually take control of and i've got my numbers punched in so as you can see my highest tier neelix is tier two my voyager my personal voyager is tier six now my five of eleven is five of tier four and there's the doctor so it's calculating how much loot i can actually get but also it's important to understand in the middle see that current 8472 exchange it expects me to get 14 summons in three days now if it's costing me 323 uh, to run instead of 500 that means in three days i will have earned 4500 correct yeah everybody following along divide that by 323 and I'm going to end right at like 13.9. I think it's kind of 14. I think there's a little bit of truncation and, and rounding and all those things going on. But uh, yeah, 13.9-ish. So you're going to get right at 14. And if you don't get the 14th this week, then you're going to get 14 for the foreseeable future after that. Assuming you stick on the same path. So that is a pretty significant adjustment to what normally in that same time span would be limited to nine simply being because you're getting three summons a day over three days that's nine so you have gone and significantly boosted the amount of summons you get which means that you're getting a lot more biotoxins and now you're able to triple and double pull the biotoxins whereas before that could have been a big problem for you and this is why neelix becomes so handy to the point that he has now become a mandatory officer on your voyager if you truly want to have the most efficient run you can have let me show you what my voyager crew looks like right here so this is what i currently run now we've talked a lot before about running voyager crews of like five kang and lorca with hue below decks and that's completely legit but if you have tiered your voyager to your appropriate tier and you've got your research the big thing is the voyager's value comes from its ship ability and the higher tier it goes the better it does with that ship ability so I don't necessarily need to run everything that I'm doing, or you can run it below decks. And what I mean by running below decks is you can have Hue below decks if you're a level 40 plus player, or you could simply run it like this. Now I'm using Grush for warp range because I want to get out as deep as possible. This allows me personally at tier six, level 46 on this account to get to the level 47 bio ships, and then I can grind those pretty easily but you could also be a lower level player do the same thing maybe you want to get out to the 45 maybe you want to get out to a higher range to hit the bigger ones the neelix is from a lower cost and then 5 of 11 is for my loot drop and then also of course giving me mitigation which heck it helps out every little bit helps remember more is more and then i have the doctor below decks so i'm trying to get as much biotoxin as possible as well as get it at the cheapest rate Actually, some very Ferengi math going on here. This is actually pretty good. Maybe we could take Neelix out and put anybody else because I just don't like the character Neelix. But as a card, this is extremely useful to you as a player. And you can see that it's making an immediate impact into how it can change your gameplay for the better in terms of efficiency. You're not having to grind as much Voyager. You can do it every three days and you can do it better and do it more. I think that is what a lot of players are always looking for. How to make the game more efficient. Well, Neelix makes the game more efficient. I wish I had an answer for you for long-term sourcing. We're going to be pushing that it gets added in with the current sourcing that just came through with the Rare Formation Armadas. And yes, I am also bugging that they make that better because the Rare Formation Armada turn-ins are not good. But hopefully we're getting those officers added in. I know that's something that Ultimate DJ is also talking with the people at Scopey that he talks with 
about that same idea. We'll get full sourcing at some point, but until that, here's how he works. Hopefully this answers your question. This isn't to say that the below deck burning ability isn't important. I do think that the below deck burning ability has value, but what has the value to the most players is what's in this sheet right here. And just as a reminder, here is how he is. If you enjoyed this video, which I hope that you did, please do me a huge solid and like it. Put the thumbs up button, click it, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and share this out with everybody else on your server, wherever you are in the Star Trek Fleet Command world. I appreciate you so much. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with those space cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next Star Trek Fleet Command video. And that's it. That's Neelix. We're out. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.